Just before 11 o'clock on Saturday night, a barrage of bullets rang out on San Francisco Street in Orange Walk Town. When the shooting subsided, 27-year-old Byron Herrera lay dead beneath an elevated wooden house. It happened so quickly. According to Bernard Herrera, he received the dreaded call and rushed to the location where his son was fatally injured. I jumped in my, in my car with, with my sleeping clothes and everything and I went out there. When I went out there, the police, they may just reach about, about, about two minutes, three minutes, and they didn't want to, to let me go and, and see him. But from, from standing on the street, I could see a body under the, under the house. And I said, man, I just pray, man. I hope that not my son. I hope that not my son. I hope that somebody else. Yeah, and all the while, I, I had the gaffet. I said, man, it can't be him. Because um, he no he no lived at the house, yeah he never lived at the house, yeah it's for him the house. His worst fear was confirmed when he identified his son a few minutes before he was transported to the Northern Regional Hospital, where he was pronounced dead. When I went there and they take out the the um, the body, got him in this body bag, and then when they zip the face, I see that my son. I told her, yes, that he, that he, that my son, that my son, that my son. I hugging up and yeah. kissing, yeah. But from other, uh, from from where I see, from the under when he was under the house, I just could see some bullet wounds in the back. Cause okay. it looked like they turned him like that, or he fell like that. But I think they heist yeah. up his shirt, and I just see some bullet, some just some red spot. Cause he never bleed a lot on the ground. Yeah, yeah just some lot of red spot. Pan, I say, my God, my God, what what they do this this. Man, how could they do this to my son, man? So who would want Byron dead and why? You heard a lot of things. You heard it's for the love, love thing. You hear it's drugs. You hear it's for shooting. All kind of thing you hear. What are right? the police saying? Um, well, um, to where he, um, about the shooting. Mm -hmm. um, no, let's say that um, the guys look like they were um, waiting for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But how the guys know that they that he would have been there, would have been there like a puzzle me, right? You understand me? So, so the you think he was set up maybe? I think yeah, I think he was set up because I think he's smart he's smarter than that. Yeah, I think he was set up by somebody, well, someone he gets set up. Yeah, where me trust because when I went when I went to when I went to the house, his cycle, the cycle where he made the pan was parked in front of the step. And then where the entrance of the yard is, mm -hmm. where the police say the bullet might have come from, he could see the people them, he could Clear. see clearly, clearly, clearly. Which make I believe again, it was somebody he knew. A barrage of bullet, no, he can't escape all of that, yeah. Oh. So he fell, and when he fell, according to the, to the um, police, that is, it looked to them like the, the shooter or shooters, yeah, because they say it was about 20 rounds, something like wow. that, fire, yeah, um, stand over him and fire. yeah, start firing shot. And while there are several theories as to why Byron may have been murdered, his father confirmed to News 5 that several threats were made on his son's life prior to the deadly shooting. Most recently, the house where the murder happened had been targeted by gunmen. They um, they threatened the life. Uh, about um, about two times or so before that, so he not really stay around there. He not really dip on the street that night. Mm -hmm. So he was surprised to me what he did do there. Mm -hmm. Where I, you know, I believe that maybe somebody, you know, somebody set him up or something like that. Prior to this one here, I think it was three weeks ago. They went and they shoot the house. Yeah, they went and they shoot the house. He was not there. But you see, Byron, a uh, person where he kept like secret things from his family yeah his friend know more than more more than us about his enemy and his movements and what he do even where he put it where where he put it maybe he got some stuff to hide his friends know more that more we he know he know he know disclose then kind of uh, information to his family none at all none at all we moved for news five